radio station, DoorCountyDailyNews.com, visiting with Hoyt Peerington. He's a fourth generation captain of the Washington Island Ferry Lines. And Hoyt, exciting day today, a great ceremony. And just talk about how special a day it is for the Washington Island Ferry Lines to uh, christen this new boat, the Madonna, that'll be soon up on the island, taking passengers across from the mainland. Yeah, you know, it, it takes a whole lot of work by a whole lot of people to, to get to this point. And uh, I, I, I kind of mentioned it before, but often we have a ceremony in the, in the whole port. And, and the, the folks that put a whole lot of uh, sweat, hopefully not blood and tears into it, uh, to, to get to this point, uh, really don't get an opportunity to get directly thanked or see, uh, just maybe get a little bit of taste of what the, you know, that impact. I think, I, I know they get it because that's why why we come here. But yeah, uh, yeah no, it's, it, it's uh, and you take that, that pause, you know, things are busy these days, you know, uh, people are moving, you know, boat is on the, is on the home stretch in the last, you know, the, the last step or two to the, to the finish line. But uh, to take that, that pause and think of, how you get here, what you know, what's possible, and how that this can happen here in, in Door County in, our, in either their backyard or our backyard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is. It's incredible when you think of the builder being here, and then also ser serving the great, you know, uh, business, the Washington Island Ferry Lines up here too. And it's a familiar place because they've built some other vessels for you in the past. But just talk about this vessel specific, specifically and how it fits into the fleet and how it'll be utilized this summer. Yet. You know, there, there's there's specific qualities that you design for and that and that you have in mind from start to finish. And the, the first the first one uh, was the first box that had to get checked was that this uh, whatever boat we had an opportunity to build again in the future would have to have some some sort of winter capacity or ice breaking capacity. So so there are whole there's a whole lot about the the hull. Uh, design of the, the boat that they should built for us here in 2003 with the RDJ Richter. We wanted to expand upon that, but and then uh, and, and having flexibility and scalability. So you have what you designed for. You have uh, uh, you know, a whole lot of tangibles, and then you get a boat in the water, and then you have those intangibles. So you find their their strengths that you hadn't even you know, contemplated before. It's a bigger boat than any other boat that we've had before. So we need to. But that part, there's some getting used to. It's you know we designed it to fit within the confines of you know uh, we could talk about uh, you know cars losing value as soon as you leave the dealership. But it, this is built specifically for the route of going from Washington Island to the mainland every day. So um, you have all those all those little pieces. Um, obviously, it's a it's a large platform. It's a, a smooth platform. We also have the scalability of doing a, a you know. A couple of different things. Kind of, there's only so many ways you can invent the ferry boat mouse trap, but, but uh, yeah, no, it works. It's, uh, and just for people, just the capacity of it for vehicle wise and people wise. Yeah, uh, uh, we, uh, deck capacity is planned for about 28 standard size auto uh, cars, you know, 15, 16 foot in length or so. Uh, any number of combination of larger vehicles has uh, 15 feet of, of overhead clearance, which is you know, actually higher than a highway uh, clearance, but uh, you know. Due to the growing needs of the island, island economy, uh, you know, virtually anything that you can haul down the road and on the highway, we need to have the ability to move, and we're, we're, we're pretty glad to be able to be one of the few or the only Great Lakes island that can that can do that too. But uh, yeah, very good. Well, congratulations again. Anything else you'd like to add? Finding no, uh, just th thanks. Uh, thanks again for the many folks that, that helped uh, make this day possible, and thank uh, thank you very much to the men and women of Bay Shipbuilding for this fine product. That's Hugh Purrington from the Washington Island Ferry again, uh, again, open the christening today at 1130. Thank you, Hoyt. Thank you. Paul Schmidt from reporting to DoorCountyDailyNews.com.